In this video, we're going to look at customising the calendar in Merlin. So as you can see on the screen, we have an empty project and we're just going to add some activities here just so you can see what we're doing. So I've added three standard activities and I've linked them together. So as you can see, the activities start on a Thursday, there's one on a Friday, and then there's a gap for the weekend and our final activities on a Monday. So now if we look at the settings, in menu we can see that our we have eight hours work per day 40 hours work per week and then 20 days working a month and our default value is one day and from the calendar view we can see how these days are set up so each day is eight hours and it starts at 8 a.m. until 12 there's now a break for lunch and then it's 1 p.m. until 5 and here as well, we can also customise um, if it's a 24-hour calendar, night shifts, etc. So say we want to start our day at 9am and go on till 5. And we want to do this for every day. So we'd shift select all our days in the calendar. And we'd set it 9am until 12, hour break for lunch. And then 1pm until 5. So that's our working day. Great. However, if you look over at the Gantt chart, you can see our second activity is now over multiple days because you started on the Friday, but there's not eight hours worth of work on a Friday. It's now seven hours. So to do this, we need to go back into our settings, into our general settings, and change our amount of work to seven hours per day. And then we have 35 hours per week and that fixes it puts it back to normal so each one of these activities is now a day so great now this weekend in the uk is a bank holiday weekend and uh, quite a few countries in the world also have the last weekend of august as a bank holiday so while it's great for sunning yourself on the beach if the weather's good what happens to your projects in merlin because we can see here the 29th which is a bank holiday you've got an activity planned it's no good so we can add exceptions to Merlin. So to do this, we go back into our calendar view and we've had it on regular week before to set our week. And we can choose exceptions and we can add an exception. So the start day for our exception, we can put as the 29th and it ends on the 29th. So now, as you can see, we've got our Saturday and Sunday normal weekends, but we've also got day off on the Monday for a bank holiday. Now, you're probably thinking as well, um, setting these things for each project can be a bit of a pain, which is why it's good to have a template set up for your company or organisation, which is something we can show you how to do in another video. And with the exceptions as well, you don't just have to add days off, you can also add extra working days. So for example, if you're going to work a Saturday for a special project, you can add that in there. And you can also set the exceptions for resources, which is something we can show you how to do in another video. So that's how you set up the custom calendar in Merlin and make some basic customizations. So we hope you found that useful. And if you have any questions or any requests for videos, please get in touch via our website, www.lgo.co.uk. Thanks.